Today, I'm going to be drafting that 10 and 0 team by drafting the highest overall players in every single round. The next time I draft a battle royale team, I'm going to use one of your comments on this video to determine how we're drafting the team, whether you want to see the oldest players the tallest players whatever it may be i'm gonna pick one of your comments from this video but today i'm gonna be drafting the highest overall players every single round and then we're gonna start off try to stay undefeated in the first few games with this team now if there's a tie we got 399 overalls it's gonna be my choice and i think they fixed the stamina glitch the two-way glitch i don't think i could put babe as the dh on this team so i'm gonna choose larry walker now maybe i'm wrong if i am feel free to let me know but hopefully that's the right pick right there and i think in this 90 overall round for me it's between brandon drury who i was liking his swing you know all of these are going to be a small sample size but a 500 batting average a couple homers for him to start but bryce harper a little bit better five homers over a 500 average I don't think I can pass up this Bryce Harper. I feel like there's a lot of good choices in that round. Speaking of good choices, I think this round has some good choices as well. I'm going Chipper Jones. They're all the same overall, but I'm choosing my personal choice, Chipper, right there. Now, I probably will go with one of the relievers, either Jesse Chavez or AJ Minter. AJ Minter did solid in that small sample size. Jesse Chavez. 10 innings 9 era all of these you know it's br it's really hard to say but i think i'm gonna choose the lefty guarantee myself a lefty right there i got three 93 overalls and i think i need to choose aaron judge it's showing that he's got 126 power versus righties 121 versus lefties and br yeah i think wyatt langford would be nasty but this isn't the ozarks we're choosing aaron judge we're seeing how he does today now the highest overall here as a cardinals fan i'm pretty happy to see this we get to try matt holiday i actually have used this card a little bit i think it was probably in br and he's batting 750 through four at bats 77 overall the highest in that silver round gets us another lefty in the pen now we got four 76s let's keep drafting some cardinals players giovanni gallegos probably the second best righty in the major leagues in terms of relievers right behind ryan helsley we got three 67s let's get michael kopek in our bullpen just another righty to have probably not going to be my go-to righty 74 overall reed detmers i think he's having a decent start to this season i could be wrong but i think i saw he was doing pretty good maybe if this team somehow lasts through friday he would get upgraded in our first roster update of the year we're gonna keep drafting cardinals no not bruce Suter. we're gonna get brandon crawford the highest overall the 89 that's our final diamond of the day we get tyro estrada right here 78 overall and this round caper ruiz the switch hitting catcher i'll still probably try to get a backup catcher if the cards align themselves in that way i don't think i want the righty reliever in a bronze round it's gonna be my second starting pitcher now we have 279s do i want wilmer flores as my first baseman it looks like he's playing down minus 11 versus lefties with inside edge no thank you i'm taking that plus one on clay holmes all day plus he's got a decent pitch selection so i'm okay with choosing clay holmes right there tie goes to the reliever 78 overall no ties in this round we'll grab alzole in our bullpen we got a couple 84s I don't know if after Friday, Paul Goldschmidt's still going to be an 84. I'd be very surprised if that were the case. Duran would be a huge addition to my bullpen, but I typically like to try to have four righties, four lefties in the bullpen. But with that being said, I don't know if I really would be using Michael Kopech, the 67 overall. So do I want Duran or Goldie? and goldie's plus two versus righties we do need a first baseman in the comment section maybe let me know what you would choose right here 54 era with duran because of that i'm choosing paul goldschmidt now we got some 67s let's go to the starting pitcher right there common round 264s let's go to starting pitcher right there 
79 is our final starting pitcher our rotation's done now we got a couple 74s which one do i want we might be able to put patrick wisdom as a dh maybe i don't really see myself using manuel margo at least with this team so patrick wisdom will grab him maybe try to get him in there for that dh spot i was hoping that 76 would be the highest overall because i would want to choose jordan walker I'm not sure if he's going to be 76 after Friday. Man, the Cardinals might have some downgrades coming. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But Gary Sanchez, 77 overall. I'm not sure if he'll be my catcher. Our final gold round of the draft, we got three 82s to choose from. JD Martinez, he could be a DH, but we already got Patrick Wisdom if we wanted him to. I'm always a big fan of Jonathan Scope's swing. We could maybe put him as our second baseman. Or we could grab Peter Fairbanks. Looks like a good reliever. Plus 11. He's playing up with inside edge. I know I said I like having four righties, four lefties. But there's no guarantee I even get the lefties that I want. I think for the sake of the bullpen, I'm going to grab Peter Fairbanks right there. Now we got a 77. Kerry Carpenter. He's playing plus eight versus righties right there. That's not terrible. We're going to be ending on a couple bronze rounds. We get a 68 overall, James McCann. And our final round of the day, a couple 74s to choose from. Do I want Scott Barlow or do I want Andrew Wance? Four seam cutter, slurve, circle change. I think I like Wance's pitch selection a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and move the lineup around to see exactly what the team can be looking like. And then we're going to try to start off undefeated, see if this could actually be a 10-0 team. 10 wins away from going flawless. Home team pitching first. We got Perez on the mound. Willie Mays leading off for our opponents. The one thing I'm kind of noticing about BR this year, it seems really hard to pitch. Am I the only one that feels that way? I'm not even trying to throw balls like I was trying to throw a strike there perfect release and I just missed my spot you can see the pars are pretty big and the pitches are able to go you know kind of on the edges of the par and it's just hard because I don't want to throw a meatball down the middle but I also don't want to just throw non-hittable pitches or pitches that just are easy to draw walks on we're a double play away from getting out of the inning I think I'm already ready to take my starter out of the game. I need Clay Holmes to save my life right now. It's going to score a run, but I need to score anyways if I want to win. 92 speed. I don't think Judge has a chance to get him at home. Not quite got me by one or two steps, but if we can only allow one run, that's not too bad. Jam Tommy fam. Paul Goldschmidt catches it. Some broken bat firewood. 1-0. And it's time for us to try to get that one back. Maybe some more. I would love to take a lead here. Does anyone else think that it's impossible to hit? <laughs> and BR? Wait, never mind. Oh. I mean, that's a good swing. I just thought it was going to die at the warning track. Like, we had good timing. I think if we look at the bottom left, yeah, PCI right there on the ball. So, it's not a bad swing. I just kind of expected that one to die. I drafted Aaron Judge for his power numbers. Maybe he could give us the lead following that Larry Walker game tying home run. I thought he had it. Oh, we're late on the hanging curve. PCI dropped it too far down. We're just missing some of these pitches. I like my swing so far, but I want to try to get some perfect perfects. No. <sighs> get out of play. He caught it. Well, that was a good pitch. I can't get a perfect release on Clay Holmes' sinker. I can do it on his other pitches, but for whatever reason, his sinker, I just can't get a perfect release. I went to AJ Minter because there was a lefty, Stanton, and then 99 Willie Mays following the lefty. But we don't have to face him with the lefty if we don't want to. That's a much better top of the second than we had a top of the first. If I can take the lead, score just one run... Here in the bottom of the second, we're three outs away from starting 1-0 with this team. That's ball four. I'm so happy that didn't just catch the top of the strike zone. Lefty, lefty, we got Brandon Crawford facing Will Smith. And he destroys it. Maybe the Cardinals should start playing Brandon Crawford. They're not really hitting too well. Just got shut out yesterday by the Brewers. Sonny Gray, a magnificent start. And they wasted it, really. Honestly, though, they've wasted any good pitching they've had for the most part this year. Their, off their offense has been hard to watch. 
Speaking of hard to watch, Paul Goldschmidt. He's been hard to watch. Oh, we missed it with Gary. That's out number two. We took the lead. If we hold on to it, we got the first one of 10 with this team. We'd be 10% of the way towards flawless. That's kind of crazy. I decided to leave the lefty in to face Stanton and maybe Willie Mays. But I think I've decided I don't really want him to face Willie Mays. To be fair, that was my fault. I just left the change up down the middle. But I'm going to go to Peter Fairbanks and his 21-6 ERA to try to get these final three outs. Still winning by one. And we strike out Willie Mays. That's huge. And Taylor Ward flies out. That's big. And we are 10% of the way towards flawless. That's massive. Let's try to be 2-0 away team. So we are hitting first. Michael Fulmer versus Reed Detmers. Good start from Larry Walker. That might be a 500-foot homer. It sounded like it bounced off the top of the scoreboard. 438. I think it was a bit longer than that. But we're 9 outs away from being 2-0. And Judge gets a base hit. Oh, I want to score more than just one. I hate it when a solo home run could tie the game. No. I got a pitch to hit, and I didn't even move the PCI. And you know who did move the PCI? Bryce Harper. 69 speed. I'm going to stop him at first. We've got runners on the corners. Only one down. And look who is coming up. My designated hitter. We have him in this lineup to hit. And he's not hitting. But Brandon Crawford has his second home run in his last two ABs. Those are big insurance runs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The team is pumped up. Goldschmidt ready to hit. Let's see if he can play like it's a video game and not like real life. And he hasn't done that since opening day. So I'm guessing this is a video game and not real life. But maybe that's also the dinosaurs that I'm seeing past the outfield fence. Imagine if that's somehow a homer. All right, five runs for us in the top of the first. Some warning track power for Gary Sanchez. Let's see if our pitching can get us win number two. One pitch, one out. And then we strike out Todd Helton. Gary Sanchez has some quick reactions to start sprinting towards that ball. And there we go. A scoreless, a perfect bottom of the first inning. Five nothing after one. I wonder what the score will be after two. I guess it's still going to be 5-0, to zero, but we're 2-0. 20% of the way towards 10-0. That's ginormous. That's ginormous. And that's where I'm going to end this video. I'm probably going to edit it, try to get the video up, and then go get some food. I have not eaten anything yet today. I'm kind of hungry, but I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm hungry for some likes and some subscriptions to the channel, but I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you as always for watching. We daily upload on the channel, so I'll see you in one of these on screen. Tomorrow's daily upload or whenever I see you next. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and thank you as always for watching.